Last week I asked you if you had one of these, the Harmony of the Gospels. 90% of you said no. So let's talk about what is this, why I got it, and do I regret it? Let's find out. Our first question that we need to answer is what exactly is a Harmony of the Gospels Bible? It is only four books of the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The first thing to note is it is in chronological order. Now, how is that any different than a regular chronological Bible? Well, here's where it's different. It puts the parallel passages from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John if they are the same story or the same event, it puts them side by side. You don't have to go flipping back and forth. If you wanna see Jesus walking on the water, it's going to give us the account in Matthew, Mark, and John. It's not in Luke, which means I can just see it right here all together. And I can see what's similar and I can see what's different according to how the author intended the story to be told. If Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John have an instance where their particular section is not mirrored across any of the other gospels, you'll just find it by itself. Why did I purchase this? Whenever I make a purchase, specifically with study, I'm not just gonna buy it to buy it. I buy it with a very specific intent. If you've been around here, you know I've been lamenting or at least learning how to lament. So I've been doing that for the past, I don't know, three or four months. And I've been reading this dissertation paper and it's about lament in the New Testament. And what this person is arguing for is that the New Testament does support lamenting specifically through the life of Jesus. So this has me fascinated and I'm like, oh, I want this, number one, because what I'm doing is I'm going to read straight through this book from cover to cover, kind of as quick as I can, but also with a lens and a filter on my reading. And the lens and the filter that I'm reading this through is where do I see Jesus lamenting? Now, after I've done that, I will use this and keep this as a reference. If I'm doing anything in the Gospels, I can guarantee you I'm going to pick this up because it's so, what's the word? It's so practical to just see all four Gospels together. I really like that. So I will keep this as a reference going forward. So the upsides are I can see all four passages at once. I love that it's chronological. To have a narrative that's told in sequential order is just helpful for our brains because that's how our brains think. It's hardcover, I do like a hardcover. With the highlights, they don't bleed, which for me, that's a big deal. I cannot stand it when highlights bleed through the pages and I'm just using regular highlighters. Oh, let me show you these highlighters. A little sidetrack, can we just go on a little sidetrack? I love this pencil holder and I love it because it has these different compartments and pockets. I am currently using, I change what I'm using all the time, but do you see this highlighter? Let's see, can you see? You can see, let's see. Can you see that you can see through right here? Have you ever run into this thing where you can't exactly see what you're highlighting because your pen is blocking it? So this, you can actually see through. So you can see the words as you're highlighting them. I like it. I will link the highlighters if you're interested and this. Get back to the point, Alyssa. And lastly, what I like about this is it does lay relatively flat and staying wherever I have put it, which I really like. You know the problem if you've got a book that does this mess. What I do not like, it feels like a hymnal. That's what it reminds me of. And I'm not very aesthetic. Like, I don't care what things look like. I gotta stop you here, Melissa, just to point out that you go on for approximately two minutes rambling about how it looks and feels. I think you might care about aesthetics. But it definitely has a cheap-ish feel to it. The pages, they feel a little bit like newspaper. That's not quite right, but it's like, 
I don't know how to describe it. It just doesn't light my heart on fire. Unlike this book, this is the ESV study Bible. Now, the reason it's 55 pounds is because I got the large print because I'm blind. This feels like quality from how the cover feels. I love that it looks like it's dropped in from 1758. I, I love that. The pages, like the flippability, all of it, wonderful. I will link this below. So if you're comparing this feel to this feel, it just, it's kind of cheap, but it's not cheap. That's another downside of this. This was $26, I think. I had to pay extra for the NIV. There were some other weird translations that I didn't want. And so this one was just a little bit pricier. I will put this one down in the description along with a couple others that are a little bit better priced that you'll have to check the translation and I can't tell you what the other ones will look like once you get them. But the good thing about Amazon is you can get it and then send it back. I live my life sending stuff back to Amazon. And the last thing I don't love about this, it's not the easiest to find the passages that you're looking for. There's an index. If I wanna find Matthew 17, I'm gonna struggle for a few minutes. I'm just impatient. I don't even know how they could fix that or how it could be better, but that is a downside. Overall, it's a, it's a big thumbs up for me. As a reference, as a tool, I am happy to add this on my shelf which I do not add these things like a bunch. And specifically where I'm at now, I will be using it daily, at least for the next couple months. I'm glad I bought it. Should you buy it? Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you should buy it or not. Personally, I would say if you have a use for it right now, I would definitely invest 10, 15, 20, 25, depending on what kind you get. I would invest that money into it, especially if you just need a little reboot. This happens a lot for me and I have no, apology for it is that when I start getting bored with my study and Bible, I will switch it up. I will do something different and doing something different like this for a couple months, just breathes a little life into my relationship with God, into my study time. If you're in the gospels for some reason, if you want it as a reference when you're doing deep study, particularly on Jesus, I think it's great. I, I definitely recommend. I'd give it an eight out of 10. I'd give it four stars. I give it a a B. Oh, Melissa. We can get the price down. And if it was better quality, it would have been an A. Maybe you'll find one. Hey, if you find one that is good quality at a decent price, let me know. I would love to know that and share with other friends. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine on you and give you peace.